What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Dude Comedy Podcast. This is old school. It's just going to be audio, and it's actually, this may be a first. It's just me and Colby. Yeah, I think it's a first, people. I think this is a first. I think this is, and it's going to be a first for more than just that. It is a first for our newest sponsor. There's nothing better about the holiday season than unwrapping a brand new phone until you get hit with your brand new monthly phone bill. Big wireless providers can really suck the joy out of the holiday. So this year, don't just upgrade your phone, upgrade your wireless provider and switch over to Mint Mobile for a limited time. Mint Mobile is offering the best holiday deal in wireless you've ever seen. Three months of service for only $20. This is a limited time offer. We're talking three months for $20. Dollars And Mint Mobile's holiday deal is going to, it's not going to last. It's going to be gone very, very soon. $20 gets you three months of wireless service with five gigabytes of 4G LTE data each month, plus unlimited talk and text. Everybody has to have that, obviously. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan. You can keep your old phone number along with your existing contacts. Mint Mobile runs on the nation's fastest, most advanced LTE network and... If you aren't 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their 7-day money-back guarantee. Ditch your old wireless bill and start saving with Mint Mobile. So take advantage of this, guys. Mint Mobile holiday deal. It's gone soon. Get three months of wireless for $20 and get the plan shipped straight to your door for free by going to mintmobile.com slash dudecomedy. That is mintmobile.com slash dudecomedy. That's three months of service for just $20. One more time mintmobile.com slash dude comedy link is at the top of the description and we are off and running my friends and this thing really is cool we actually have this ourselves you could just plug the sim card in in any old phone whatever you want and go to town it's a good deal and uh i'll explain the clusterfuck of last yesterday but or on wednesday, or wednesday when we did actually, this yeah but so kyle just to, to give mint mobile more more love here Kyle said it saves him on his phone bill over $360. He had the hat on, he Holy had cow. the shirt on, and he had it plugged in. Then Burns said I think it saved him like 190 or 180 So it's a good service. And obviously, like that's cool that they sent us hats and shirts. Yeah, so they shout out Mint Mobile. Cool merch too. Uh, so take advantage of it. So as this is this is what happened on Wednesday. And everyone, everyone got clusterfucked here. All right. I'm going to lay out what happened. So this is a re-recording of a show that was recorded on Wednesday with all four of us. But let me explain a little bit on where everyone was and what happened. So the show starts out hot, but then Jimmy, his face cam fades out for a little bit. And then he froze. Then he came back, but his other guy was still there. And he's like, I don't know what's going on. So Jimmy came back. I think he talked for like a minute or two. I said a really funny joke. Jimmy laughed, was mad. Kyle had tears in his eyes. And then he just disappeared. And then he texted us and he was like, hey, guys, I, I'll try and get back in here. My internet is gone. So, Jimmy, elaborate on that real quick. It just dropped. It was gone. It was like a, a an Arkansas-wide outage. <laughs> it didn't come back on until like 7 that night. So, being a so YouTuber and your life revolves around the internet, that probably has to be the most frustrating moment of your oh, life. Oh, dude, you just sit there and stare at the little connection thing on your icon on your computer because it has a little yellow thing that says, this is bad, and you just wait for it to like disappear. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. Literally not, nothing. Not a damn thing you can do. And I, and but I will. I'll, to like, stream. I'll like right click where it says, troubleshoot problems. Then I'll just do it over and over and over and over. And it says, your DNS is not responding. It, it doesn't do any good. Unplug the router. That'll fix it. Plug it back in. Nah. Yeah, those are good fixes, though, if any, if you ever have issues with internal uh, issues, like at your own house, and it's yeah, not like yeah, a yeah. statewide outage. Those normally fix it. Unplug and right-click. But you were supposed to stream, too. So, so yeah. now here's where things things aren't off the rails yet. So Jimmy's gone. It was like, okay, that's it's fine. We're about 10, 15 minutes in. And then we start talking, and, and now here's where you guys aren't going to believe me for a second. Burns comes to the table with the island. You know how the island people, the story was the guy went to the, the endangered island where they're protected out in the India Ocean. Yeah. Burns brings up this topic, and we have a, a debate-ish where he's engaged for 30 minutes. Kyle's talking about how he hates people, 
and it's amazing. We go back and forth. We're pulling up all these stats about these people and how they're just living out there. I mean, we're talking Burns is engaged for 30 minutes here, people. And then Kyle's has some good rants in it. And then I jinx the show because I say, and they'll back me up on this. I say, guys, that 30 minutes that we just recorded right there was probably the best thing that we've done in 100 episodes. And then Burns starts laughing. He's like, I, that was awesome. Like, we just kept going and going. And then we were spinning it off onto, like, different topics and talking about how, you know, we – how different islands and how they're out there and these people are just like what they do and here's where shit hits the fan right so now burns and kyle are about to stream they're hoping jimmy is going to get back on there and stream with them i'm about to edit some videos for a side project and then kyle hits us with a text he's like i have no idea what happened it just says it's a corrupt file and we're like haha like we literally think he's just trolling us because that was our best episode we've had in a while and then I then I see his stream title and I go to his stream and he you can see he's visibly like about to throw up he's upset it's just gone he has no idea why OBS it like saved the file and everything but it's like not savable through handbrake he downloaded this other program that was supposed to like see if it could save and uncorrupt the file it's just gone 55 minutes in the dust so So now we're here second lost episode that we've ever had so me and Colby yeah. are rolling out a quick Black Friday episode for everybody. Have you seen any crazy videos yet? Anybody no, throwing not down? This, not this year, and I was actually s- surprised too. I just got back from Walmart about an hour and a half ago, and it was like pretty clean. Nothing really ran over and not too busy. Wouldn't, they have, wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't they have... Yeah, but doesn't the spicy stuff like go down Thursday night or maybe tonight, or is it... Like I don't last remember night, anymore. Most, most of them don't even start it on Friday. They start at like 6 p.m. on Thursday. Yeah, see, I think they've all they've all just kind of started rolling it out differently, which kind of diluted the market in a way. Because I know Best Buy like opens up their online stuff like Thanksgiving now. Yeah. So you're going to get all the Black Friday deals the day before, which makes sense for them because Amazon's just kind of changed the way everyone shops. I haven't really seen anything though, or qu- crazy videos. What about you? No, I haven't seen not not like I've seen in the past. But that doesn't mean that they're not gonna that they're not gonna two, surface or come two up. Two or three years ago was when it was like uh, fights over big flat screen TVs oh, yeah. and all that stuff. But now, so just for another crazy example, we were there at Walmart today, and they had a 32 inch curved Samsung computer monitor. So like what a couple years ago was the nicest monitor you could get. It was $148. I was like, what the shit, man? Like that's people crazy. Just, <laughs> people just go. To, yeah, it, it becomes, it's not even a fight about the sale. It just becomes a fight to, to fight over something stupid. People are crazy, dude. Especially when they feel like they got to get something that, that nobody else or that's going to run out or they can't they're not going to have a chance to get, or they just think it's the best deal ever. People who act stupid, dude. Did you see, speaking of acting stupid, did you see big neck meme dude got um, oh, popped arrested again? Yeah. again? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So it's just the funniest thing about it is, so he released like, he went on Instagram live after getting picked up, you know, and you could tell he wasn't like social media savvy. He yeah. didn't really realize what was going on, but his buddies did. And in the video, he's like smoking his blunt and, you know, talking all this crazy stuff. And in my head, I'm like, Man, this guy's going to get put right back in jail. You can't be on camera smoking weed. You're probably on some kind of probation. And then sure enough, I think three days later, he got popped for running from officers again. Didn't have a driver's license. Caught, caught with weed. He missed his window. At, at this point, getting arrested doesn't hurt him because he just gets more mug shots. Yeah, but you got to capitalize when you get out. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely I don't, I don't missed his first wave. I don't think he's going to do that. What about that? What was the deal with that six nine rapper guy? He got out, didn't he? So I've seen uh, conflicting reports on this. I've seen that he's got he's getting transferred oh. to like uh, a different one. So he's out of like prison, and he's into like the type of prison or jail that they put you in when you're like snitching. Or like co- cooperating. Yeah. But he- here's the thing, like, and I said this when he got arrested. This we actually talked about this on the show. Uh, that was lost. I-, I I'm from the side that he's a he's a marketing mach- like he's in a a big marketing bubble. Like everything he was doing, yeah, he was talking about being in the gang and shooting right. people up and this and that. But 
I feel like a lot of it was just, you know, fake, you know, manipulation to to kind of be like a character. Well, that's allegedly what his lawyer said, wasn't it? Just the yeah. other day that it yeah. was all yeah. it was all just for his persona, his online or his whatever is fake. Yeah, that's like that's like his character. Portrayal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pulling. I'm pulling up TMZ. Right but now but I mean, he could have very well before he got picked up been in a gang, considered himself a gangster. And then when they picked him up and they're like, "You're going to go away for 25 years." Uh, no, no, no. I was just acting, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about everybody involved. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So that that's like the bottom line is. Uh oh, wait. Maybe he is out. But so the weird thing is, the weird thing is, is like. I don't feel like that's a good excuse though to act the way he acted. Right. And then just to be like obviously he shouldn't get 25 to life if he never actually did any of this racketeering, but uh to go against like his lawyer and the the whole this is his character quote unquote is the it's not like it was just the local police. This was like the FBI and shit on this. Like they put time, effort and money and resources into this. They wouldn't have just arrested him if he was a character. So that's like where I play devil's advocate of he obviously did enough wrong to where the FBI is wasting their manpower, time, money, resources to, you know, put out a racketeering case or Rico case, whatever. Right. So I think you can only get away with the, I'm just doing it as a joke for so long. I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, it, it does, it does bring up like the question though. So let's say you've got your buddies and you get put away for something and they say, well, if you throw everybody under the bus and they go away forever, we'll let you out. What do you do? Yeah, I think, uh, I think in, in his situation and this is going to, no, no. I what mean, would I, you do? Oh, I, pro- I mean, it's, I, it, I don't, it's hard for me to be in that situation cause I can't think of what we would have done to like get busted there. Just pretend like something. So it's like we we all four covered up a murder. Yeah, and yeah. If I if I say the three of them did it, yeah, they, I, they all go and I get out. <laughs> yeah. See, I feel like I feel like I would be in in the actual situation. I feel like I'd be overthinking it, and I'd be like, "Man, these guys are gonna turn on me, so I'm gonna turn on them first. So I feel like it'd be tough to say I would not give them up, but I I want to say I wouldn't. <laughs> but I feel like I'd be like, man, if we're would, all going down. I'll just be straight up honest. I mean, if it, when, when you're, if you're put in the situation, they say you're looking at 30 years to life in a prison. You're never going to get to be with your kids anymore, your wife, your family, whatever. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm probably snitching and selling out immediately. And I'm probably doing it super fast so somebody else doesn't do it before me. Well, no, and I, I agree with you. I, I That's what I was saying. I feel like my first thought would be like, all right, if these other three guys are all getting the same deal and they're all thinking about it, like we don't have a criminal past. We're not thugs. We don't think that we're cool for like not snitching. We're probably all going to do the same thing. Like, yeah, it was him, dude. Get me out of here. Like I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's, uh, it's easier also to say, Oh man, snitches get stitches. No snitching until you're in the situation where it's like, hey, 30 years, you never get to see your family again. Or... I think it totally changes. Totally oh, yeah. changes. It's also not like the movies either, you know? Like, well, that all not, depends yeah. on if there's a group. Like, if it was if it was us four and we were the four in there, and I snitched and you guys had to stay and I got out, there's probably not a there's not a lot of heat for me to catch on the outside. If you're in like a big mafia gang or something like that. I mean, you probably have to worry about all the others yep. yeah, getting you when you get out. So that may I, be a th- reason why yeah. some people don't. I think that's where like the line's drawn. Obviously, like you have four buddies who did like a hit and run, as terrible as that is. The three of the buddies aren't going to have the resources in prison to be like, okay, well, you snitched on me. I'm going to come get your family. They'd be like, shit, he snitched on me. I should have snitched on him first. I agree. I agree. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. See what happens with him. Yeah, I just looked it up. It did, the last the last update just said that he was moved prisons, uh, moved uh, moved jails or whatever to a different prison, or whatever. But yeah, I think I I just think we're in the it's a weird time where even something like this, where he can get like memed on and like made fun of, but when. A couple of years ago, you would never make fun of like some guy for going to jail for the rest of his life, you know? 
Right. I I do get the argument that he brought it on himself by being an internet troll who makes fun of everybody and does all that that shit. That's crazy, but it's just I'm just saying that's a weird time that we live in now. I agree. I agree. What else, man. You, what else are you doing today, Black Friday? Oh, well, we're going to go I'm trying to get all my work done. I already got my live stream done. Um, I'm going to get done with this and then probably we're going to go hit the gym and then we're going to just go kind of skirt around a little bit and see if there's any deals or anything going on like out there. It's just, I don't know. Not, we're not like looking for anything particular. We're just going to go do like some casual shopping and see what's left and what's going on. Stuff yeah, that's like, like that. what... That's kind of the the way we we look at it now. Just like uh, like sometimes it's cool just to pull up to Target because Target has like, dude, they they mark down everything like every section. Games like you can go get like new new games like Madden's only twenty bucks. NBA Two K is only like twenty nine dollars. Dude, games that just came out, Black Ops Four, Battlefield, and I think even Fallout before Black Friday were like already being heavily discounted. It just makes me kind of wonder the value now. I remember back in the day, like, let's say Halo 3. It would be out a good half a year before it would ever even sniff a discount. If not longer. Yeah. I agree. And now we're talking, I mean, it's crazy. Have you seen the drama with Black Ops 4? Uh Uh-uh. Tell me that. Then I want to talk about video game prices after that. So Black Ops 4 was 60 bucks. You basically got three tiers to that. You got zombies, multiplayer, blackout. So you could argue and say 20 bucks a game mode, okay? Yeah. So they put their black market thing out there, pretty much copied Fortnite. I mean, let's be honest, it really is. They're tiers. You have to buy the tiers, rank up, all that good stuff. And uh, a pre-order bonus through GameStop was this uh, Divine Pistol, Divinity Pistol, Divine something, like a a really cool-looking pistol. You could only get it if you pre-ordered Black Ops 4 through GameStop. So it was exclusive to, to you, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we get through that, game comes out, and then uh, they have what's called signature weapons in it, which are like really, really crazy weapons with like Mastercraft camos and all kinds of cool stuff. They put one in the game for free, just randomly. Everybody got it. Every platform, it was in there for like four days, and then they took it back out. So they obviously, somebody messed up and put it in there, but they gave it to everybody, and then they took it away. So uh, they just announced like two days ago a Fall firearm special in the black or oh, the black market shop, twenty bucks, two thousand cod points. You get the divinity pistol, which was a pre order bonus for GameStop, and you get this other gun that they gave everybody and then took away. <laughs> why? Well, what? Like what goes through their head that thinks they they can do that? Hold on, what? hold on. It's, it gets better when you buy these. You don't actually get the weapon camos. Then you have to go grind for like 10 or 13 hours. You get the right to unlock them. Why? Oh, no, (laughs) dude. Oh, no. That's where we're at, man. I feel like so. Oh, is there no checks and balances in call, uh, the Call of Duty offices? Not right now. I mean, that uh, is Drifter so made a good bad. point. Drifter made a video and he said he kind of envisions it like this they're in a board meeting. And Activision says, we need to generate more holiday sales. The shareholders want increases. We need to make it happen. And Treyarch says, well, we're trying to send all these patches out to get the game where it needs to be, which is another topic for another day. No AAA games ever come out complete anymore, which is bullshit. Anyway, oh, yeah. so None Treyarch's like, we need to get these patches out, the zombies and all that, and try to get the game right. And Activision's like, no, you need to get more microtransactions. So just repurpose some stuff you've already done. And somebody says, well... We, we've got this pre-order that went out to anybody GameStop pistol. And here's the other one we screwed up and put in the game but took back out. We can bundle these together. And you can't get them alone. So if you have the Divinity pistol from the pre-order and you want that Maddox gun that they put in and took out, you have to buy the $20 bundle, even though you already have the pistol. It's just, oh, <laughs> man, dude. It's, it's I something, get, dude. I get that their hands are probably tied. We've talked about that many times, like, you know, to the argument of like, it's stuff that's bigger than them. They're kind of like, you know, they're just handcuffed. Like they have to do things like that. But from a standpoint of getting fans to consistently come back and like, you know, like your game and keep, you know, stay with you. They're just, they're just alienating too many people. I feel like to where like you, when we started the show, Fortnite wasn't out yet and you were all call of duty still. 
And no, now, no, 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 no. I wasn't. I was top tens. Yeah, top tens, top tens. But you yeah, were still I, hoping that the next Call of Duty. Yeah, was I was be... doing some COD, but I had transitioned into top tens. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. And I and I want to say that the next COD was still coming out like remaster or something. So you were still getting some hype behind Infinite that. Warfare and remastered yeah. is what it was. And but then it just seems like every time something that comes out about them, it's not good. It's always negative. Like I, I don't think it's going to change if okay? they just keep making money. I, dude, they're making billions of dollars on microtransactions. It's not even oh, yeah. about the core sale of the game anymore on the shelf. I just wish that they would own it, you know. Or as I, I feel like, like so Fortnite has done it the perfect way to where you never feel like they're oh like they're they're dicking you around like oh 20 bucks for this or five bucks for this or you know oh nine bucks for this like you don't think about it because that's always just been the model you know yeah so i feel like if call of duty came out and they were like hey this is how we're going to do things now we're going to have an item shop and we're going to have this and we're going to have that and we're going to have different ways to rank up and go through storylines if they did that and just owned it, I'm sure there wouldn't be situations like this where now people are like, what the f-? like just dicking them. Yeah. But that leads me to what I want to talk about, about video game prices. Sure. Why are they still, when they come out $60, like who set it at fifty nine ninety nine? I mean, well, that's the base price. Every game now has uh, a ones. deluxe edition or the master edition, which is over $100. And you're not even getting complete games. Like the Zombies fans for Black Ops 4, it, for the first month, you couldn't go past like level 28 in Zombies and you would get a blue screen and crash. There was so many bugs and stuff. The games aren't complete. They're they're un- incomplete and they're selling at this premium. I just, I don't know how long it's going to last, especially when you have a free-to-play model like Fortnite. I mean, I don't know. I just don't get, yeah, like, so the game I used to play before I stopped really playing anything other than Fortnite was, I always played the NBA 2K series. But then, like, two years ago, the My Player mode was way too storyline friendly, and, like, I had to watch all these things like a movie, and it just wasn't for me. So I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm going to wait. But then 2K18 came out, and I got it for 20 bucks. you know, five months later after it came out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. But then for this year, I went to go get it, and it was like fifty nine ninety nine, or you can get seventy nine ninety nine and get this LeBron edition, or you can pay ninety nine ninety nine and get this like custom deluxe LeBron edition. So I'm like looking at what I get and stuff on it. It's like, oh, you get more virtual currency and this and that. But I was like, I don't really care about that stuff. I just want the game with LeBron on the damn cover. Like that would be sweet to have, you know. Yep. And I didn't want to pay a hundred dollars for virtual currency that I don't use to like make my guy look cool and i got pretty upset about it and then today even when we were looking at stuff i didn't buy it today for 29.99 because i was just like i don't care anymore it's pissing me off yep yep i, well, agree, I got other man. i got other cool uh cool news uh so there's a the probably the second most popular radio station out here where we live is called kiss 106.1 they're owned by like iheart radio you know one of those big right. ones so they're doing a contest they just Three months ago, went through like a whole revamp. One of the parts of the revamps, they left on like their old morning show host who's been there since I was in like elementary school. They randomly, surprisingly fired him about two months ago. Then they had these two people on there and it, the show was kind of struggling and it was missing some parts, whatever, you know. So then they're like, had the bright idea, hey, let's do a contest for people in Washington to apply to be a morning show hosts with us on kiss 106.1. And I got like four or five texts about it. And then I started looking up the contest details, this and that, whatever. And then it's only for one person. But as I was reading the context details and what you have to do to like apply and how you can like move on to the next round and stuff. Right. I immediately call Kyle. I'm like, Hey, we're going to win this contest. It's for one person. We're going in as a package. So all like the first thing to get to the top 25, is you need to be like nominated a certain amount of times and have a good one minute video. Okay, I can make a good one minute video. Let me tell you, I'm gonna read off like the qualifications. Hold on, it's right here. I have it on my thing. Qualifications, right? Here. All right, so you need to be you need to be knowledgeable in trending news and topics. Okay. Easy enough. You need to know the successes of going viral. I was like, oh my gosh, are they writing about us? <laughs> have success growing audiences i was like okay we can showcase that 
This is the one that I was like, are you kidding me? This is fake. Podcast or video experience? Wow. Uh, it just hit yeah. every it hit every bullet point. Yeah, then there was like two where it was like one was like uh something about like time management or whatever like for for getting things done which uh, you know, it was more like if you had something you had to edit in a day, you could do it, which was like that. Right. But so I'm I'm thinking of making a video, so I'll make the one minute video that will be like highlight what we used to do with like dude comedy and then do like the success for going viral. We'll have like the tomahawk throw. I'm going to cut to like the audio of the radio station talking about it. Playboy covering it. A couple of the meme pages covering it. Then immediately flash to Rob Deerdeck on ridiculousness on MTV. And it will be in like, it's not even that cool. And then so it'll be like, you know, we went from viral to obviously on MTV and then success growing audiences. I'll just flash in like, you know, the Facebook page or Kyle's YouTube page. I was like, Hey, we're going to win this contest, man. And it's 10 grand, uh, to whoever not like the winning person who nominates us gets 10 grand. So now we'll put it on Kyle's Facebook page, the video and be like, Hey, go nominate us for this. We need a hundred nominations. Plus whoever is like, if we do win, whoever nominated us, they randomly pick one of them for 10 grand. Holy crap. Yeah. So we have like all of the, but then we were talking about it and we're like, do we really want to do that? <laughs> but it would be sweet to just try and win the contest. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. So we're going to plan that out. We'll probably need the help from the pot. When, once we get everything like uh, laid out on everything we have to do and submitted, we'll probably need some of the podcast fans to go. We'll try and rig this thing dude, and win this thing. So what are the, is one of the podcast fans going to have a chance to win 10K? Anyone, anyone like, yeah, it's so oh, the, wow. the nomination form is simple. It's just basically like once we get to the top 25, if we make it that far too, right. then it just becomes like a normal contest. And who's, if who's that, putting up the money for that? Uh, I heart radio. Oh, okay. Okay. So they're big. They're big. I was about to say, it's not the local radio station for sure. No, because that's what I thought too. And I was like, when, so when someone messaged it to me at first, they were like, Hey, you should do this you'd be good at this. And if you win, I get 10 grand. I'm like, how the hell are they paying you 10 grand? I've heard stories how they're like struggling, but they're more struggling just because they, they're flipping and flopping people out too much. And I, I, I'm sure like morning radio host, that's like cable TV. That's probably hard to retain people nowadays. That's so yeah, if we weird. can, if we can rig this thing, that'd be pretty dope, but we're going to, we're <laughs> going to get rig it. Uh, if we can manipulate this into our favor, don't so say manipulate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of the right word. Great, this is all going to come Rig back. Rig manipulator, the wrong uh, word you want to use for that. Can you imagine though if we actually did like get on the air and then Kyle had to figure out how to censor himself live in the morning show? Yeah, dude, that would be crazy. He'd that be screwed. Be We'd be fired on our first day. <laughs> this is true. Well, you'll have to you'll have to keep us you'll have to keep us posted on that. But I think we're going to break a record, Coley. I think we're going to break a record because I think no. we're going to do the shortest podcast because I have to roll. And I don't think you can sit here and do your own. So uh, this may be the shortest podcast we've ever done. But I think it was pretty, I think it was pretty rich. I think it was pretty full. What yeah, you and you know, I think it was as best as we can do after we've talked about it. We, we had a mistake and an air happened. We've already talked for 50 minutes to each other. Like, yeah. What are we going to do now? Yeah. So we'll make to, it, yeah, we'll figure out a way to make it up to everybody. We'll, we'll make it up to everybody. We'll probably do something during December. Actually, we'll promise to do something and we probably won't do it, but at we'll, least we can promise. We'll put the effort in and try you guys check out mint mobile and hopefully you have a, don't yeah, get in give, trouble on, on give them the link Cyber again. Saturday. Give them the link. Give them the link again. Uh, Mintmobile.com mint mint slash do comedy, I believe. Yeah, mintmobile.com slash do comedy. It'll be in the description of, of For the For real, though, if you if you need to save money on a cell phone bill, this is the best thing you'll find out there. And Absolutely. They, they're awesome. So, 100%. And <laughs> like like Colby said in the in the Forgotten episode, you, you, it's a burner phone, too, if you're going to go get in yeah. trouble. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it back up. But I, said, I didn't bring uh, it up exactly how you said it. I didn't yeah. use the words you said it. All right, guys. It's, <laughs> that Peace. was funny all right thanks guys